So hello from Green Mopeds in London. So today we're going to give you a static review of the Horwin CR6 and its obvious competitor, which is the Super Soco TC Max. The first thing to sort of uh, compare, I guess, is actually the dimensions. Um, the Horwin is about five centimeters longer. Um, it looks more than that, uh, to be honest. Uh, that's probably because of the way the seat is. If you actually look at the, the seats, um, you can see that there is more to the, the Horwin seat than the TC Max seat. Um, it is, I guess, more comfortable for a second person, although, of course, you will be um, up against this sort of incline, whereas on the, the TC Max you have a flat seat. But um, it's also, I guess, a combination of the wheels looking bigger, even though they are actually the same size. They're 17 inch wheels on both, but the Horwin have chosen bigger tires and therefore the bike looks like it's got more presence. I guess if you look down the front of it too, it just looks like there's more to it. Um, mostly because one of the big differences between these two bikes is that the Horwin has a fixed battery. Okay, as, as you know, the Super Soco has a removable battery. That might in itself be a deciding factor for you. Um, obviously, if you need to charge TC Max, then you can just whip this battery out and plug it into a 240 volt socket. With the Horwin, you have to, there's a charging lead and it still goes into a 240 socket, but you obviously have to have that near you. So, as I said, that might be the deciding factor. Um, there'll be other things that we will talk about that might also help you make your mind up. Um, <clears throat> the next thing to talk about is the uh, power. So, as we've said before, there are three different ways of rating power. And when you look at these bikes, we've had some people say, well, on this website, it talks about this power. On this website, it talks about the same bike with this power, etc., etc." That's because there are actually three ways of talking about power. There is minimum power, or, which is um, you know, the base power that the, the uh, motor has. Um, there is then the continuous power. The continuous power is what you see on your V5. So for these two bikes, the continuous power, if you're talking about a 2020 TC Max, is three and a half kilowatts. They're both the same. So on the V5, you'll both see that they're the same. The difference is the maximum power. So on the TC Max, the maximum power is five kilowatts, but on the Horwin, the maximum power is 6.2. So quite a considerable difference. That's, well, in electric terms, it's, it's about one and a half horsepower. Um, but the way they get to this is by typically three ways. One is uh, the motor power itself, but then it's how you tie up to a controller and also the rating of the battery. So the rating of the removable battery on a TC Max is 45 amp hours, but the rating on a, they're both 72 volts, but the rating on a Horwin is 55 amp hours. Okay, which means it can basically push more charge through for uh, a longer or more continuous amount of time. Okay, so um, although they both say 60 mile an hour, so again, we're talking about the 2020 TC Max, both say a maximum speed of about 60 mile an hour, what you will feel is that the Horwin delivers that power um, more quickly. So acceleration is six seconds to 60, um, but it feels more uh, aggressive, I guess, if that's the right word to use. Okay, so obviously uh, we will be doing a review of the arrive review of the Horwin uh, shortly, so you can uh, have a look at that one when it comes out. Okay, um, the other thing, I guess, when while we're talking about batteries is charging so the TC Max currently has a 5 amp charger okay um, there's sort of noises that that charger is going to be upgraded to a 10 amp or you can actually get a 10 amp charger uh, separately but um, there are noises that the bikes are going to start coming with 10 amp chargers okay um, the Horwin in comparison though comes with a 15 amp charger Okay, or built in, obviously, not removable like uh, the TC Max. So a 15 amp charger means that um, essentially, you, you know, if you double the, the, the rating of the charger, you halve the t charging time if you were talking about the same battery. So that means on the Horwin that there is a charging time of 80% in about three hours. Okay, um, on a TC Max, the sort of uh, 
generally discussed charging time is six to seven hours for a hundred percent. So you're probably talking about three to four hours on a Hallwin from flat if you ever uh, have it flat and you're talking six to seven hours on the TC Max and that really is a function of the charger. Okay, so if the TC Max had a 10 amp charger, you'd probably be looking at about the same sort of time. Okay, so some other obvious differences, um, as you see on the Hallwin, it has a chain. On the TC Max, it has a belt. Um, I guess the TC Max, slightly less maintenance, I suppose, because the, uh, there's no oil involved with keeping the chain, uh, the belt lubricated, unlike the Hallwin. But obviously with a, a belt, they do in time stretch. Um, you know, I'm not talking about <laughs> Uh, in a year or so, but they do in time have to be replaced. Um, you're less likely to ever have to replace a chain on a motorbike. So um, that's possibly, they probably equaled out in terms of maintenance overhead, okay? So going around the bike, so this is where you plug the charger in. Um, on the TC Max, you can either charge it directly in the battery or there is a similar charging point on the far side of that bike. Um, interestingly, uh, Horwin have decided to put the cutoff switch behind this panel. Okay, so um, you actually have to take this panel off. It's only clipped in. I won't do it because I've only got one hand. But that's where the kill switch is. Um, Super Soco uh, used to, or on this version, as you see, there is the kill switches in here. Um, however, on the 2020 TC Max, they've just moved it to under the seat. So they're both as fiddly as each other, I would say now. Okay, so that's where the kill switch is. If you notice here, there is basically battery. Okay, so um, underneath the lid is a little cubby hole. You've got a toolkit. Obviously, you can get your phone in there. The charging cable can go in there. There's a USB port uh, to keep your phone charged, etc., etc. Perfect timing. So. It obviously comes with an alarm. It's, it's uh, quite a sensitive alarm, I have to say. Um, it's also louder than the TC Max one. Um, <clears throat> what you can do in terms of this bike is decide how you start it. So you can start it either through this key fob remotely, or you can obviously plug in the key and turn it on. I'm not sure if you like that sound, but that's the one it makes. So on the um, display here, you have obviously revs and then uh, miles used, uh, charge left, also in percentage terms, etc. etc. Okay. One of the other differences about this bike is that it only has two modes, the TC Max has three. Okay. Um, I guess that's going to translate into three gears on the CR6 Pro, which is coming out. One of the things that Horwin are actually doing is sort of trying to appeal to the purist motorcyclist I think because for example they have a foot brake every other um, in this category at least every other motorbike will have a pure twist and go and this is a rear brake and the other side is CBS CBS is also on this so this lever here is front and back together okay <clears throat> so mode one on this bike will give you about 37 miles an hour and then mode two will get you to top one of the interesting little quirks about this bike, which um, I'm not sure why they haven't done this, um, is, as you see on the dashboard, hopefully you can see that, there is a sign that shows the side stands down, so the throttle is dead. Okay, so when you put the side stand up, you enable the throttle through this power button here. But this power button does not disable the throttle. It's only for enablement. To disable it, you either turn the bike off or put the side stand down. Um, again, not a big issue, but interesting that they didn't make this an on-off switch, just an on switch. On the TC Max, here you see the red button, that is an on-off switch, if you, it, it does toggle it. Okay, so going around the bike, as you can see, uh, it's got decent front brakes, um, TC Max, slightly smaller on the ventilated discs. Um, here you see the controller. Um, if you look at the bikes sort of side by side, I'm not sure if you'll get that, but the Horwin, as I said, does appear just bigger. It's got more presence. Um, that's because, as I said, the, the tyres are bigger, um, although the same size. Um, the seat is 
bigger and wider compared to a TC Max. It's longer, the bike is longer by four centimeters. So it sort of creates this Im impression of being more of a substantial bike. Okay, so um, it's not good or bad, it's just the way it is, okay. So the colors that you can get on this bike are this blue, uh, sort of racing green, black, and white, okay. Um, the range is uh, quoted at being 60, so that's more likely to be 50, which is essentially the same as what Super Soccer say about the TC Max. We, we've ridden a, a TC Max for 50 miles, so we know it does a good 50 miles. Um, so you've got a bike that has the same continuous power, it's got the same top speed, and it's got the same range. So technically, they are similar. The way the power is delivered on the Horwin will be uh, more instant, more powerful, because it's got a higher rating overall, 6.2 kilowatts. But for that, the difference in price is about a thousand pounds. Okay, so the 2020 TC Max is 4249, and this one is 5,200. Okay, a thousand pounds, some would argue, is, is quite a lot. Some of that price is made up by the fact that they are using a Panasonic battery. Um, Super Soco, the TC Max, doesn't use a Panasonic battery. It uses uh, a battery from a company called ATL. Um, what you're seeing in, in sort of batteries, and it's actually shown by that bike in the background, that uh, NIU, is that some of the brands are moving to non-Japanese batteries uh, because essentially they're cheaper. If you actually take that NIU in the background as an example, they will do the same bike, one with a Panasonic battery and one with uh, a Chinese brand called EVE. The difference in price just for that is 500 pounds. So, as I said, that could be some of the reason why there is a price difference. Um, the other technical reason about batteries is that um, often you find with the Panasonics, LGs and Samsungs, they have a higher rating. So, as we see here, that TC Max is 45 amp hours and the Horwin is 55 amp hours. What that translates to is, as we've seen, more power output and possibly greater range. It doesn't seem that the ranges are so vastly different on these bikes. They're both quoting uh, about 60. Um, we've ridden the TC Max for 50, so we know that. Um, maybe you'll get four or five miles more out of the Horwin, but that isn't necessarily going to be a deciding factor. It's just the, the quality and the brand of the battery that um, goes uh, either for or against <laughs> uh, each bike. Um, <clears throat> The other sort of last statistic to, to tell you really is about the weight. So the weight of this Horwin is 138 kilos, uh, whereas the weight of the TC Max is more like 110. So you're talking about 20 to 30 kilos more, and that is because there's more battery and there is a bit more to a Horwin, as you can see. Okay, so obviously weight affects performance as well. Uh, the heavier the bike, the more power you need to move it. So um, that uh, could be something in the uh, favour of a TC Max. Anyway, I hope that's uh, useful. Uh, um, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. And thanks very much.